Hi you all. Today we're going to be looking and reviewing the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I'm already not really sure if I picked the right color. I got Deep Dark 190. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to jump right into it. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Jet Black. Jet Set Black. It's a little twist. A little twist thing thing. Ooh, it's black. And my brows are already kind of thick. So we're just gonna like pretty much bring a shape to them. Already bomb. Bomb. I love it. The MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette and NC50. I don't think this foundation color is going to work. They don't really, they look red, but then they don't look like the super wrong color. I may, mm, I think I'm able to work with it. Oh, it just looks so orange. Overall, I like the finish. Like, I'm super oily, so I look for foundations that will make me, like, really mad because maybe in about an hour or two, I'm pretty sure my oil is gonna be seeping through. Now we're gonna be using the No Filter Concealer. This is Dark 40. And there's nothing dark. I don't think this is the right, this can't be dark, what they consider dark. And the reason I didn't get deep dark because it looked like it was gonna be too close to my regular 
skin color. But then it looked darker on the, I don't know. I'ma shut up. Let's just see. Yeah, it's too light. Okay, so what I'm seeing now is that the super orange foundation that I put on is making this super light concealer work and it's starting to like balance itself out. And the brush I'm using is a G1. I didn't feel like going to wet my beauty blender or my Fenty sponge. I didn't feel like dealing with a sponge. And for some reason, I kind of like how the finish turns out when I use this brush. And I like it because you can use it for concealer and you can use it for patting up or blending out your foundation on your face. I know y'all watching like, what the hell? This girl ain't getting none of the colors that she's supposed to be having. Or that actually match. But you know what? I think it's working out and I think it's balancing itself out. Now we're gonna be using the no filter setting powder and banana. So I'm gonna pour some into there. And I'm not gonna bake already because I feel like this may be a little bit too light. So I'm just gonna sweep it under with the same brush that I blended it out with. Okay, I'm oily and it's a little drying under my eye. Now I'm gonna contour and kind of like bronze up my face. I was gonna get the, the no filter press powder in deep dark, but I didn't think that that would like show up on me. So I passed on that. And I'm just gonna be using Shea Moisture Illuminating Powder in Mandalay Dusk. Don't know why my camera cut out. I'm 
I'm just gonna do mascara and this is the Maybelline Total Temptation. Now I'm gonna be highlighting with the Fenty Kilowatt and Ginger Bench and Moscow Mule. I'm gonna be using, I guess, Moscow Mule, the one over here. So I got two lip products from ColourPop. I got the The Luxe Lipstick in the LA Lady or La Lady. And the packaging is so pretty. Just take it off. I got that color, which is Ellery. Lip color in Hennyway. Ooh, that color and then I also got the lippy pencil in BFF 3 which I'm gonna use regardless of which color I pick and that's uh, that color right there and I already have Carmex on my lips, so I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go with Ellery. Uh, Ellery in Henny Waves. I'm gonna use that. Lord, I hope my. Uh, I'm not really used to wearing liquid lipsticks, like really matte, but the color, the color is bomb. I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours and let you all see what it looks like after it's like set on my face, okay? We'll be back. 10.15, the oil, of course, took over like not even just in my t-zone but all around my, my face would i recommend the foundation yeah or make sure that you find someone on youtube that has the foundation so you can kind of gauge from there i knew when i ordered it i would be around the 190 195 range but the 195 I saw it on someone else and she was like maybe two or three shades darker than I am. 
So I was like, okay, let me just get 190 and maybe that'll work. And it looked like it worked. It, it went on like really orange and really red, but with the highlighting and contouring, it kind of balanced itself out. So I would definitely get the foundation. I would get the, I would get the no filter concealer. I will, I, I'm probably gonna go back and repurchase a darker shade uh, for the Ellery Ultra Matte Lip. And anyways, I like the color and it didn't budge. And then the only thing that I'll probably would pass on if you already have an under eye uh, setting powder is I would go ahead and pass on the banana powder. It didn't really do too much for me. I mean, now that I'm oily, it did keep my under eye from being oily, but that rarely, that rarely gets oily. So I would probably pass on the powder. Yeah, that's it. I will talk to you later. Bye.